Hi boys and girls and parents, we're back for another super reading strategy to help you succeed. Okay, so right now we're going to take a look at main idea and details. Okay, let's take a look at our key points. The main idea, main idea is what the paragraph, article, or story is mostly about. Key point number two, the main idea equals the most important part or the most important information in the text. Key point number three, details. Details of the little bits of information that support the main idea. When I teach my students at school to think about details and main ideas, think of it as, it as like a table, okay? Try to visualize a table in your mind, right? And you have, this is my table. And the main idea is the most important part. Okay, this is the top of the table. And the legs, which support the table, are the details. Okay, so it supports your table. You wouldn't have a table to eat on if you didn't have details. Okay, so let's take a look at our model. Remember, while we're reading, we're going to be reading actively, which means you're not going to just sit there. You're going to use your highlighter and point to each word with me. Blind as a bat. Now we know that that is our, that is our title, and you notice that our title has a question mark, so it's asking you to think, to think about why. Why would a bat be blind? And take a look at our picture clue here. Bats aren't really blind. Did you know that? I didn't. Bats aren't really blind, but they don't use their eyes to find their way around at night. Bats use their sense of hearing, hearing one of your five senses too, to locate the insects that are their food and to avoid objects. That's a very important part, main idea. Bats send off their pulses of sound through their mouths or nose. These pulses echo back, outlining objects in a bat's way. So they send off pulses and these pulses echo back. When an echo happens, it goes back and forth. A bat's large ears, their large ears, another detail, help to figure out where the echoes are coming from. To find insects, the bat sweeps the room with sounds. It sends out pulses faster and faster until it zeroes in on what it's hunting. Dinner. Bat's hungry. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at our main idea and details. So we see we have three details that have to go with one main idea. Try to think back to our table. What was the most important thing that we learned? Bats use their sense of hearing. That's our main idea. Bats use their sense of hearing to what? Let's go back to our text. To locate the insects. To locate the insects. Also known as dinner. Okay, now we need to find three details that support the main idea. It's always important, boys and girls, that when you look for the surrounding text details, it will be always following the main idea. So let's go back here. Bats send off pulses of sound. That's one detail. Bats send off pulses of sound through their mouth or nose. Okay, that's one detail. Taking a look at the model again, I'm pulling it straight from the text. Remember text support. That's why it's important we use our highlighter. Detail number two, the pulses echo back. So these pulses, 
these pulses echo back and provide an outline for the back. Okay, now we're going to take a look at detail number three. Remember, the bat has large ears and it was saying that it doesn't always use their sight. A bat's large ears help to figure out where the echoes are coming from. Okay, so that's detail number three. We're going to put it down here. A bat uses its large ears to find out where the sound is coming from. The sound comes from. Okay, I hope you can see that down there. So just to recap, remember when we're talking about main idea, main idea is the most important information. And the details are the little bits of information that support the main idea. Remember, think about the table. The main idea is the part of the table that has it on top that supports it. And the little details are the little legs of the table that support the main idea.